<laughs> yeah, no, no escape for you either, bitch. <laughs> Go down a vent, too. Man, I don't know if she throw the keys away. Yeah, she threw it away. to be seen again. Yep, yep, she's down the drain. Yeah. She's on. Like, you let that bitch go. <laughs> and you see how fast she's booking it over there, oh, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are not going to get it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> she, she turned around quick. Hey, 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 what you doing? Hey, hey. You got to let that bitch go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I remember back in the day, I was just a, a wee little Corey, and I loved Star Wars. I was not the biggest Star Wars fan out there. There were many others who were much, much more into Star Wars than I was. But, you know, I mean, I was, a, I was an 11-year-old boy. I loved Star Wars just as much as any other 11-year-old boy, which means that you loved everything Star Wars. <laughs> If, if you were down with Star Wars, you loved it all. You, they shoved that shit in your mouth. They man. shoved it up your ass, and you were, and you liked it. In your cereal. Yes, and I had fun memories, man. I, some things I hadn't seen for years, and I had fun memories being an 11-year-old Corey watching these things, man. I remember thinking back fondly. I, man, even back in the day, I asked the question that I'm ashamed to ask right now. I was like, what, what's wrong with Ewoks? <laughs> yes, man. They kind of cool to me. They're cute, they're cuddly, and they and they beat the empire. They saved the galaxy. Well, everybody's always had this big problem in like all oh, the fucking teddy bears. Why they do this? And Empire is the worst movie. I never felt that way. No, I <laughs> like 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 you. I was like, hey, I it, it's okay to bring in these other creatures. They they're doing their thing. Why why all the hate? Yeah, man. I said, man, these and plus. These bears, I bet you wouldn't talk that shit to their face. These bears are badass. You think that you call them teddy bears, you call them fluffy, you call them cute. They saved their planet twice, probably three times. Mm. But I remember what <laughs> I look back in the day <laughs> and I said, hey, you know what? I said, I had, I had this on tape. I watched it several times. I must have watched these, these damn Ewoks save indoor about 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as I got older, as I got wiser, I was able to finally admit, not all of it, but I was finally able to face the facts that it's okay to say that some Star Wars sucks. In fact, I, it's okay to say that I hate some of it. You know, it took about 40 years to say it, but <laughs> I can't Well, like I it. said, man, I was, I was not a, a hater of Ewoks, and I was on their side. No, I, um, I liked... Until I, today. Well, <laughs> I liked Ewoks, man. And I tell you, I, I haven't seen this movie in years. And I look back on, on some Star Wars things with our, that, you know, that, I, that I saw as a kid and said, you know what, that shit is not what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. What the was wrong with you? I wish I could have saw the movie that you saw when you were a kid. Yeah. Well, that's because you're a man now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, why. So. You a grown-ass man. <laughs> There's no way to put that genie back in the bottle. Watching this movie for kids right here. First of all, this is a sequel to another movie called Caravan of Courage. Now, I haven't seen that one in years either. And oh. I, don't, I don't even remember that much of it. Oh, because I, I, when this went off, it said, like, well, hey, you watch this one. You should check out Caravan of Courage. So I was like, Shit, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, so I haven't seen Caravan of Courage in years. I might watch that again at some point. But I can tell you, okay, so this this being a sequel, uh, the first Caravan of Courage was about a family being stranded on indoor and uh, their ship was broken, they attacked by some creatures and whatnot, and uh, they defeat them, befriend the Ewoks. Everything's fine, cool. Uh, this one right here opens up where that one left off where they're fixing the ship and getting ready to go. Now, what I can say about this movie, not having seen it in years, I just remember this being, oh, this is this is Star Wars light. This is Star Wars for for kids, something for the kids out there. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, Battle for Endor, that shit went hard. And when I say hard, I'm not saying good or bad. I just it's a this is a darker movie. <laughs> The movie opens up with Wicked and this little girl. If you haven't seen the first movie and you don't even know who the little girl is, you just think, damn, that little girl is cute. Uh, they got Wicked, who, you know Star Wars, he's like the, the famous Ewok, the one that uh, Warwick Davis plays. Yeah, right. Um, him and his really cute little girl, they just skipping through the forest, man. Skipping through the forest, picking flowers. It's almost, it's almost like Wicked trying to get some ass or something. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> see? Oh, this girl's like five years old. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's for I you, mean, baby. I, yeah, I mean, he's I laying it sweet. down. <laughs> We're married now. He putting on some game. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. Look, I ain't look. saying we got to bring anything graphic into it. He's, he's just trying to get a kiss or something. He's like, yeah, hey, you know. Yeah. But Warwick and <laughs> well, just wicked, us. Yeah, Wicked over there laying it down, man. <laughs> but they are skipping through the forest. You know, and they're, they're, they're playing this nice music, this, this hopeful music. And let's even the characters. Of course, we got the Ewoks themselves, man, who are so family friendly, man, because they're the teddy bears of Star Wars. They are. Let's just let's just admit what what it is, yeah, man. Right you know, but they are so family friendly. They ain't even got no genitals, man. They ain't got no dicks or vaginas or anything. They are <laughs> so family friendly. They ain't even got no. I mean, look, because y'all talking about what well, Chewbacca, he run around no clothes on, but he got that hair to cover up his dick or something. Yeah, it's, you know? probably, it's probably there. Yeah, you just you, don't see it. Yeah, you pull it back, you know. Yeah, it's got barbs on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but these, these, these Ewoks are so family friendly, they ain't even got no ass cracks. <laughs> just a smooth. Yeah, just a smooth. <laughs> just a smooth. Like, how do they reproduce? How do they shit? <laughs> you know, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. You know, they, 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 they're, for the, they're for the kids. Don't worry about that. You can damn near see the zippers on the back of the hose. Man, you can't. I, know, man. I, I mean, know. Uh, let me run it off here. I'm sorry. They, I'm not they, trying they to jump no. a gun. They sewed together carpets to make no, those suits. No, no, you, Billy, you are right. And the thing is, they ain't got no genitals. They ain't got no ass. And it's not just because they are that family friendly. It's because they are some of the worst special effects in Star Wars history. Man. The, the, I will put it up there. I, look, I ain't trying to have nothing against these Ewoks. I'm trying to be cool. But they are some of the... For a company that prides itself on being a pioneer in special <laughs> yeah. effects, this shit is... That's <laughs> through the entire movie. And the thing is, they won awards for the effects on this movie. No, they didn't. That's oh. because they, they were riding off on Star Wars, yeah. man. That's why. Because I'm going to tell y'all, man... Uh, these Ewoks are horrible. Now, for a Halloween costume, or if you, sure. you or this, yeah. or this is a kid going to Comic Con, uh -huh. are you a little person going to Comic Con? No, it's amazing. It's cool, but for, but for Lucasfilm, for Star Wars, industrial light and magic, industrial yeah. light and lack of magic. Right. No, you can put all them lights. In right. there. Yeah. Well, two out of three. Ain't bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got some the, lights. You put as many lights and in industrial as you want to, and there ain't no magic in this shit. <laughs> it look like somebody's grandmother made this shit. The, the, they're, they're worse than they're worse than bad bear costumes. It's like terrifying, awful taxidermy come to life because they got those dead eyes that don't. The dead, yeah, the, yeah, the dead jewel eyes the dead, yeah, and the, the bulbous noses and those big uh, ass teeth. Oh, those those dead eyes that those eyes that don't blink at all. Oh, oh. oh yeah, she's like. Look, take she's, these flowers back, man. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> she's like, blink. Blink, bitch, blink. <laughs> she's like, I, I want to go back now. Yeah, <laughs> no. Enough frog through the no, woods. Oh man. <laughs> and and the, re the, the eyes I can kind of, hey, look, I'm going to say you're full of shit, but some people might be like, well, they're alien eyes. Okay, all right. Let's, let's, sure. You want to play that game? Okay. That's hey, fine. I think they still need moisture, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, they should be putting Vizine in there every five minutes. And Glenda. <laughs> but somebody's a tweet. <laughs> somebody's a Ewoks are tweaking out here. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, if you want to play that game, I'll let you slide, but you, don't you sit up here and tell me about these, these mouths. These, th you when they talk, they got that damn ventriloquist, <laughs> yeah. that ventriloquist dummy jaw going on. Oh. <laughs> see, look at that. Look, I'll go through it slow. Look at that. Dude, look at you can see the line <laughs> going yeah, out, going sure up can. and down. That's a puppet. I know it's a puppet, but I mean, it ain't supposed to look like one. Right. You're yeah, right. That's somebody else with a remote <laughs> making the mouth go well, up and down. That, yeah, that was so bad. Like, I expect uh, Jeff Dunham to be right next to him. <laughs> You got your boy Wilfred Brimley in there, man. Yeah, the that's oatmeal right. man. That's right. Now, Quake Rose. Yeah. Besides doing, so besides doing oatmeal commercials, uh, this is the only thing I think he's ever got top billing in. Uh, starring Wilfred oh, Brimley. Oh yeah. You yeah, ain't yeah. never heard those words. That's before. true. That's true. Starring Wilfred Brimley. You know, maybe co-starring. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, but, even in Cocoon, he was still amongst other. Yeah. You know, famous elderly actors. Right, he was right. the top name. Yeah. Damn, I was starving. So you put him in here with these damn Ewoks over here. Yeah, he's like, I better goddamn get some top building this shit. Goddamn tired of being second banana. I'll be. <laughs>
Tired of the second time being sucking my goddamn teddy bears over here. Yeah, <laughs> That's my, my goddamn oatmeal. oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, it's funny because we talk about oatmeal. You just can't talk about Wilford Brimley without talking about oatmeal. Because no. we're talking about how you look at this and see Wilford Brimley and it don't think it's that dark. But Wilford Brimley did have his dark moments outside of this movie right here. The man was... He was not a spokesperson for oatmeal. He was an oatmeal addict. <laughs> Y'all talked about this. Yeah. Y'all talked about this. <laughs> Give me the diabetes. Y'all oh, talked diabetes. about this. This man, he he was practically gollum with, with oatmeal, oatmeal sometimes. Yeah, yeah look look at the like that a commercial where they, this kid came in like, nah, you ain't getting none of my goddamn oatmeal. Fuck you up. Hey mom, no oatmeal today? Sure there's oatmeal. Why'd you ask? I just <laughs> <laughs> Little bastard not getting yeah, my yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep on walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How the fuck you talking about? Yeah. Bitch, I done told you not yeah. to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't even look at it. <laughs> well, I'm going to get into why this is so dark. Because as I mentioned this already, the main thing is that this is a sequel to the movie Caravan of Courage. In a galaxy far, far away. You. Now, a great adventure begins. People, now this is a true kids movie right here. Uh, Caravan of Courage, you know, like I told you, it's a family that crashes on Endor. They fight some creatures to protect themselves. But in the end, they defeat the creatures. They party with the Ewoks, become their friends. <laughs> and everybody is just fine and dandy, man. Now, this came out, I believe, in 1984. The year before this. Other yeah, one. and so... Uh, Battle for Endor came out in 1985. Now, I don't know what happened in that year. Uh, I don't know if George Lucas just had a really bad day at that time. I don't know if something traumatic happened in his life. I don't know if things were just not going his way. But when we got to Battle for Endor, as far as that family goes, he said, F kill them all. I don't care about any of them. This opens up with alien bandits coming in, attacking the Ewok village, the, the, the Ewok village, putting them in slavery, and they just massacred this family. Uh, poor mom, who's in this. Uh, the mom of the family, they, they open up with her, with her, with her body already being dead. No dramatic last words, no, no, no heartfelt goodbye. Damn. Just, yeah. just, just assed up in the grass. Yeah, <laughs> assed up. Yeah, just Knee down, ass up. Lit, looking like a looking like a Family Guy character. Yeah, yeah. sure is. Man. That leg all twisted. Yeah, leg all twisted, arm all backwards. Yeah. Assed up in the grass. Yeah, man. Assed up in the grass. Uh, oh, uh, the son, who people thought they thought he was gonna be like another Luke Skywalker. They thought, oh, this 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 character, this kid got a future ahead of yeah, him. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a prominent character in the first movie. Yeah, and he's got that haircut that makes him yep. look like Luke Skywalker. Oh yeah, that's, no, that's obviously on purpose. Everybody thought, yeah, it was. Clearly. Everybody thought, well, shit, he's gonna be the next Luke somehow. Blew his ass up. Like they, they say, we already got a Luke. Yeah, shit, we don't know anything about looking for you. They they blew him up so bad they couldn't even show you his body after they killed him. She had to check her Apple Watch to make sure yeah, he was yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh shit, he gone. She's just, I, mean, I told him not to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they couldn't even show you his body, man. They blew him up so bad. Let me say, we already got a look. He said, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what that you yeah. said? Dad got it the worst, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, they, they made his death. <laughs> Dad right here already looked crazy. Mm. <laughs> no, Dad, they made him the worst because they made his death the silliest. Like that. <laughs> Shot him right in his ass, man. And and they didn't kill him just so he could feel stupid for a little while. And the other thing is now that now that he got a broken ass, you know he ain't gonna get very far. Oh. <laughs> the worst part of all this with this family dying is that they died for nothing. For nothing. They died, they, I tell you, they, they died because our main villain has to be one of the dumbest <laughs> Star Wars villains I've ever yep. seen in Star Wars history. <laughs> Terak right here. Terak? Terak. He, there he is right there. His stupid country backwards ass. He, so he killed his family because he, th <laughs> he thinks a part to their ship. Just a, just a, just like a, a fuel cell. A fuel, just an everyday part. It'd be like this a fuse that we put in a, you know, <laughs> a 
<laughs> refrigerator some shit here, but he he thinks that this park got some magical powers. No, no, please. It, it, he's looking like he's looking like your primitive ass killed my family for that. He's like, bitch, I could have got you that at AutoZone. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's a fucking battery, he's like, man. You, yeah. He's like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> what the? Oh, and you ain't lying, boy. Oh, oh no, man, he no. hit you a fuck. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. No, wait, no, well, don't, please. Well, you know what? I No, he's not very good at all in this, because he don't care. He's like, no, he, he, yeah, halfway through, he's like, this is stupid. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, that, that, that's that's my read on him from the, the whole time. Because it'd be different if it was like, I've never seen him before. Go like, why wow, that guy sucks? I'm like, right. no, this guy, he's been good in a lot of things. He's right. like, what yeah. the hell is going on he's here? Like, he's like, I'm going to cuss the fuck out my agent <laughs> right. for this. I think that villain is so stupid, and he knows that villain's inspiration. Like he just, he can't be scared. He actually looks at that villain at one point, like, "What the f are you talking about? <laughs> We're strangers here. We just..." Is this not a hidden ship? Are you not the guardian of the power? What you're talking about? Like, you f what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking about, but you know, I would be scared. But you, you are the dumbest son of a bitch I've ever seen. You know, this opens up with this whole family being killed. Yeah, massacred. Yeah, massacred, man. Uh, the the thing that might get these kids through it is is being able to see. Let me find a picture of it here. Is being able to see how well the little girl who's in this uh, looks like she ain't handling well at all right here. She's like, what the <laughs> f is going on? She got them bug eyes. Yeah, she got them Ewok eyes. But it's but that's uh, that's the daughter, the only survivor, Sindel. You know, you watch how she sees her family being murdered right before her, uh, right right in front of her. And for the most part, for the most part, she's actually pretty cool about it. I mean, you know, now yeah. maybe she don't have time to like. Get right. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think so. It's more of a like, well, we got to get going because, you know, it, what she goes from this to running to getting captured. She's, yeah. she's got a lot going on. You know, there's but, a lot but, going on. But she, you know, for the most part, she's but pretty the whole cool. thing about the family getting killed like this, it's especially tough if you saw the first movie. Where you go, we sat through a whole movie where everybody was for the most part fine. You got to know them. That's what I was saying. And then you come into this and they kill murdered. That's right what off I'm the saying. That's why this like, shit is so crazy dark because I know in that first movie it truly is a family film. Yeah. Like, it, like it is fluff. It's completely yeah, it's nothing but fluff. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's that shit's like like watching a McDonald's playground for, for it our really ass. is. But this right here, this kid handles watching her parents being massacred right in front of her eyes. And she's pretty cool about it. So kids might be able to relate with her and be like, oh, you know what? If she's cool, I'm going to keep my composure, too. I ain't like my too. parents that much anyway. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, she's, like I said, she's continuously on the run from bandits and, and monsters and whatnot. But the thing that would test anyone's patience, I think all this shit is cool because the thing is that the, the, the real thing that's getting on her nerves is this mother, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Wilford Brimley, and I'm going to get into him in a little bit. Wilford yeah, Brimley. And his little crackhead, his little crackhead friend. <laughs> he's oh a crackhead. <laughs> Man, just like a, he got a, he got this uh, little creature that he shacks up with named Teak. And Teak is just like a crackhead. He waits for you to fall asleep. Then he goes over and steals your sneakers. And like a, <laughs> and like a crackhead, he can run the f so fast. Yeah, I mean, I think he's more of a speed freak. Yeah, I, well, crackheads will steal your shit and <laughs> run. Right, you can't catch me. <laughs> oh wow! He's like, God damn! Yeah, shit. <laughs> he was just. He, 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 he I didn't like, know we were the project. He like, he like, where my Jordans at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jordans. <laughs> but Wilfred Brimley, man, when this girl shows up, he takes this to a whole other dark kind of level. It ain't as dark as murdering somebody's family, but the girl does show up needing help, and he's he's hardly better than these villains, man. Uh, he not only does he kick the he, does he does he kick this this girl out and wicked out the wicked the Ewok out to certain death, but he takes this this grumpy old man thing he takes that to a whole other level, man. I don't want you here. Get out. No place to go. I don't care about that. Now you take him and go. Go on. Like, calm your ass down, man. Right. Shit, if they brought a box of oatmeal in there, you'd be kissing ass right now. Well, <laughs> yeah. make yourself right at home. Come on I, in. I do have a little girl that's like, motherfucker, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 yeah. yeah, I heard you. Well, I heard you. Well, Listen, they, I'm cute. and It's going to wear you down eventually. Actually, they do go. But this is, again, this is what I like about them. Both, 
both uh, both both Sindel and Wicked holding it down. They say we'll go, but we gonna talk shit before we do. <laughs> He's just a mean old man anyway. Come on. We get like, yeah. if I wasn't with her right now, I'd <laughs> beat you your sure ass. ass. <laughs> yeah. you, you think yeah. this little girl right yeah. here. If I, if I don't want to worry her anymore yeah. than she already was, I'll beat the shit at you, old man. I can't worry her no more. I'll beat your old ass right now. But I got my girl with me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll be back, though. <laughs> see, shit, I'll bite your shins right now that I had this girl to worry about. I'll be back, bitch. When they love, he, he's still mad, man. Let me see what, what this is. <laughs> he's still mad talking shit. Yeah, when they left, he's he's still mad, man. They they gone. He it, they, he he took care of it. They he they 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 left, and he's he, he's still yelling. And now he's taking that old Teak, who had nothing to do with this. I did let him stay. First thing you know, that want to be friends or something. And then look at the trouble we have. Oh, he's shit. like this. One more time, he's like, yeah, he's like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Missed my food up. <laughs> yeah. God, man. <laughs> okay, so I guess technically what they do in this man's house is his, but you ain't got to be this cold. So they came in not knowing that Wilford Brimley, who plays Noah, uh, he's a guy stranded on the planet who... Oh, Everybody you know, gets stranded on the yeah, indoor. ain't nobody leaving him, man. <laughs> and, and like that small, that small redneck town, that ghetto you don't want to get <laughs> stuck in, but you do. But uh, so technically, I guess if you... Do anything in this man's house, I, he can claim it to be his, but they didn't know it was his. They thought it was an abandoned place because they didn't know anybody else was there. So they come in there and they find ingredients in Wicked, you know, who, he knows some things. He starts cooking. <laughs> and, and they were cooking enough food for everyone, man. Uh, but then when he comes in and finds it, he eats it all and don't even invite them in. What's this? Oh, what do we got here? You make this kind of little muffins. They made enough food for everybody. For, for everybody. Does he invite them back in? Take all you want. Cause they ain't getting shit. <laughs> 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 he went in and stole. They cooked a meal, had it almost done. Well, you can't say stole because it's his his food. Man, no kids <laughs> out there. And, and Wicked is a kid. That little girl in that, in that bear out there starving half to death, and he's in there eating all their food. Eating all their food. And they, eat all and you want. And didn't invite them at all. And here's another thing. And looked at Teak and said, and hey, your little ass better not go give them any either. I don't care what you do. You better sit right there and eat it all yourself. I'm going over to that stove and getting me some more soup. Whatever you do, you stay right where you are. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Which means you better not go give the little asses any. Yeah. I'm watching you. Don't, don't wrap up none of them well, rolls. You know, you, know, you know how it is with, with like stray cats. If you feed them, they 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 stick around. That's a little girl, man. <laughs> that little girl. He didn't even ask where your parents are. <laughs> he just said, "Get the <laughs> my house." I do like I was always. He's already doing the old man eighties yeah. old man like. Well, if it's dirty, why don't be friends? And yeah, I'm, might yeah. want her to be my granddaughter, and, and I can't have that. <laughs> I can't have that shit. I mean, you know, for another 20 minutes or so. Right, right, yeah. 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 All good until, some food. until I break down and show everybody yeah, yeah. how lovable I really yeah. am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does do that, but after he gets to eat all that shit. Yeah, yeah. after he gets to Don't invite him back in until we're done. <laughs> he gets Not to the food up. It's the right thing to do, I tell you. <laughs> Go on back in. Hey, where's our food at? <laughs> Your little ass better not say <laughs> shit to him. You got a place did, to did stay. You, did you leave any? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you inside? Yeah. All right. Oh, where that came from? That right there is wrong. <laughs> I don't care how much you put it, man. Oh, you taking <laughs> taking that old grumpy man thing to a whole other level, <laughs> right there. Not giving those kids any food. Share with them kids right there. However, if it was food he made himself. I, with Hello I Fresh, it, I, knew it, I, knew it, I, knew I would. It. I wouldn't. First of all. If he had made this food himself, I wouldn't blame him for not wanting to share. Shit, I only ordered enough for one. But that's the thing with HelloFresh, man. You can order enough. You can order enough for the whole family. You can order enough for one. If he had ordered enough just to cook for himself, he'd be like, I just ordered enough for me. That's it. Now get the f out. But, but with HelloFresh, you can get pre-packaged meals, pre-packaged ingredients oh that you cook yourself. Jesus. You can get you can get enough for one or you can get enough for the whole family. As I said, HelloFresh is cool because you know you probably are 
I don't know. You're trying to get off your, your COVID fat or you're trying to look good for the summer. You're trying to say, I'm not eating so much fast food anymore. In fact, I'm going to cook for myself so I know where the food is coming from. But man, it's just taking a lot of time. Man, shit is getting expensive. Man, I, I, I don't know how to cook. First of all, let's just get right, let's just get right to it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, HelloFresh makes all of that easy, man. They deliver high-quality fresh produce from the farm to your door in less than a week. And they have so many different dinner recipes to choose from every single week, man. More choices than any meal kit that's out there. You can get these ingredients and uh, recipes that take around 30 minutes or less to make. And being that it's summer, they got a lot of simple ingredients too. Uh, cucumber salad stuffed pita pockets, chicken sausage, stuffed with peppers, <coughs> Tuscan spiced shrimp, whole lot of things. I think they even have a new Mediterranean, just completely Mediterranean choice mm. that's out there, man. Okay. Yeah, recipes that are filled with, all, with, with veggies and fruit. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do a completely vegetarian meal? You can do that. Hey, you love that meat? Go ahead and get recipes for that. You can mix and match. Also, you can go as simple as you want to. Or you can go as, uh, for what they have to offer, you can go as fancy as you like, what they call that Lux recipe out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. HelloFresh is about 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant, and it is even cheaper than grocery shopping. So you're saving time and money, and also eating as healthy as you want. And just to let you know, as I said, we've had some people some toasties out there who tried HelloFresh and were so happy with it that they shared with me unsolicited. Uh, we have Donald Walker here who wanted to share how proud he was making the buffalo spice crispy chicken cutlet. Something I actually made. Oh, that was good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is, no. He made this and he was very proud of it. Hey, it ain't all about me. It's not all about me at all. It's about you, what you want to eat, what you want to cook. And I'm going to make it that even easier for you than it already is because, and I'm going to make it cheaper too. What I want you to do is go to HelloFresh.com forward slash Double Toast at 16 and use the code Double Toast at 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. And I appreciate HelloFresh for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And of course, I appreciate all of you for your support. Thank you so much. And hey, if you start making some good meals that you're proud of, you're proud of what you made, it looks all nice, send it to us. Okay, coolmans at gmail.com. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. Oh yeah, this food is still tripping. Even after he, <laughs> <laughs> even, even, after he kicked, even after he kicked them out, they're out there on their own. They're trying to survive. They're in the wild. They're cold. Wicked, who got some again, some Boy Scout skills, you know, because he's raised in the forest. Uh, they start a fire, man. Just they ain't even eating. They just trying to keep warm. Shit, old, uh, old, <laughs> old, 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 old Wilfred, he ain't having that. Put that light out. All right, what are you two little wood rats trying to do? Burn down the whole forest? Like, what the f***, man? Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Shit, man, we ain't bothering you. We did what you asked. He ran over with some water, so he was already ready to do it, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What are y'all doing? Man, like, man, all right, man. He's like, that's it. I'm on. All right, all right, let's, it. All right old man, let's go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you, you done gone too far yeah, now. all right now. <laughs> He's going to follow them wherever they go. Right. <laughs> What you doing now? Don't eat that shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're not building any structures out here. It's not up to code. You <laughs> <laughs> don't have you permits doing? for this. Yeah. <laughs> you knocking out the tents. <laughs> yeah, you ain't running shit out here. <laughs> oh, somebody said, Jesus, those taxidermy eyes. <laughs> yeah, man. He's like a this this is like a taxidermy horror movie where the the dead start coming back to life. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, of course he ends up he ends up being the the grumpy old man with a heart of with a heart of gold man. That's a man. Yeah, and you know he he ends up looking like all right, you know what that 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 was kind of an asshole. Thing. <laughs> 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 well, you know, I know, well, I, went, I know I went too yeah, far. Yeah, well, these, I mean, <laughs> these, these are kids out in the forest all by themselves, <laughs> freezing to death. Oh well, well, man, too. maybe that maybe that was a shitty thing to do. <laughs> so, so he starts. <laughs> So he's like, you know what, let me invite these kids in, man. <laughs> so he, so he, he invites them in, he starts, he lets, he, he says, all right, that wasn't cool, man. Let me make, let me make a proper fire for y'all. Uh. The proper place for a fire is a fireplace. So you can have this fire tonight, but tomorrow you gotta go. Do you understand me? 
Now, and even when even when he's explaining a, a, a fireplace, he still sounded like, yeah, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's how you I do know. a fireplace. Exactly. But he still has to do that old man thing, yeah. man. The 80, I'm sorry, the 80s old man yeah. thing. Yeah. But bar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, Cut to. Okay, cool. All right, cool. You showed him a night of kindness. But even then, even then, he cannot be cool. So he brought him in. <laughs> he brought, man, he brought these kids in to get in front of this fire. <laughs> the water and, on and he get, so he gets in this nice warm bed. What's your name? Noah. And lets the little asses go to sleep on the floor. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and and you know, you know it, it's gonna whisper to her like, "I don't care. We leaving tomorrow." No. Or you know, we gotta kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> the way she he won't saying, leave us alone. <laughs> but she did a little kid thing. <laughs> Trying to get comfortable. Yeah. It makes you feel bad. You're like, yeah, when it's on, on, a, a, it's on a hard ass yeah. floor, he's in a bed. Nice soft uh, bed. It ain't even didn't give him no sheets. No, no didn't, bed, no didn't, pillow, didn't, didn't give him a bowl of water. <laughs> it takes her having nightmares for him to finally be a decent person. Wicket, you're here. You're safe here. I'll put you in this soft bed. Like you should have done the first goddamn place. <laughs> so yeah. he, so he, uh, <laughs> she had to have a nightmare. So she had to have a nightmare for him to do the re, the, the responsible thing. <laughs> he took her screaming and hollering because he like shit. If I but put he this, softened him immediately. Well, I think he's saying like if I don't put in this bed, this bitch gonna keep me up all night. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised at how how many deaths are in this for a kids movie. Sure, there's a lot. Uh, See, so when this opens up, we see that the we see that the villain he lives in a in, in a in a medieval castle, which explains why he's so stupid. Because listen, if you were in Star Wars, and, and with with all the technology that they got, all this space age stuff, if you live in a castle, you're like you're like the you're like the redneck of the Star Wars Man, that's, universe. That's the whole thing. By the time they get to the point where they live in in a castle. And his his uh, first henchman is a, a witch like Eveline. I was just like, is this even Star Wars no, anymore? It, 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 he man. Not like he lives in a castle. It's not even a space age castle. No. If you look at this, this shit is medieval. They got dungeons, rocks, and torches. Like you look at this, like they 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 ain't got no robots. No technology. They ain't got no, they got no cool gadgets. Even those poor bastards on Tatooine, they got a robot exactly, or two. Exactly, exactly. Looking yeah. at this, I was like, okay, this has to be a set that's left over from something else. Yeah. I bet there's some other movie that, that, that this set is in. Yeah, exactly. this is from Beastmasters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is, yeah, this ain't... Around the same time. Yeah. Dark crystal, dark, dark crystal yeah. yeah. This ain't, no. This yeah, because they ain't trying to spend no money on, on space tech like no. they should. No, <laughs> ain't got ain't got one goddamn gadget, and not one light, not one torches. Not, not torches. Just, not just torches. They don't even got like, have electricity. They ain't even got one of them cheap ass little remote control robots that, yeah. that look like a box. Ain't not, it's a good point though. On Tatooine, they were broke as hell. They yeah. was with the rednecks of the Star Wars, and they <laughs> they, they still at least had, had robots. robots yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tatooine is the ghetto of right. the Star Wars universe. Universe, yeah, it is. and you go there, even the most broke mother. Got, got, droids. got a robot uh -huh. riding with him, and you know, I mean, ain't no gadgets in here at all. But the, the reason why I brought this castle up is because the, I'm gonna go into like how the how, how the deaths are in this, and they kind of the deaths are kind of they, they kind of go hardcore too. So I the mean, castle, <laughs> I mean, I mean, in theory they do. Well, even I mean for a kids' film, that even the, what they allude to because. Uh, cause you could you could hear certain things, you can see certain things, kind of. Uh, the castle is surrounded by a moat full of, I don't know, space piranhas or uh, Star Wars piranhas, the equivalent of piranhas, uh, who almost, you, they, and they show you that they're in there and they're pretty vicious because they almost eat wicked. Get your feet out of the water. So you see how those are. So wicked sees that after having almost had, had his feet eaten off. He sees that and when he sees that, he's like, you know what, I can use this to straight up murder somebody. <laughs> Get your ass off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your ass off. Yeah, he's talking to you. He flipped that motherfucker off. Get your ass off. But he gingerly yeah. places it on the thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay, his ass is gone. No, just, <laughs> if, if the movie was just, if they had done just some other things in here, 
like be good, <laughs> but no, they, they 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 had done some other things, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, I found it to be a surprisingly nice kids movie. I mean, for little kids out there, even though you have all this dark stuff in here, because uh, I'm talking about how grumpy Wilford Brimley is, uh, but him and his girl, Aubrey Miller, that's the that's the little girl's uh, the actress's name. Uh, she's actually good. Actually, pretty good together. Yeah, she 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 genuinely is a cute girl who is a decent actress, mm -hmm. and you want to follow. Even the, in the previous movie, where she's even younger, where she's like you know a year or two younger, like she's like four years old, you still are going like, you know what? She's holding it down. She's no, she's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised she's not acting today because maybe I'm going overboard with this, but I thought for a girl to be six or seven years old, her timing for her delivery is pretty excellent for a girl that young. Do you think Salik is dead? My family is too. Makes me feel sad. I thought, damn, yeah, she's pretty good. She's yeah, actually yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this uh, this dude Salik they're talking about, Salik dead to the mother. Salik. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Apparently, Salik was a leftover Halloween prop. <laughs> they, they, they oh, man, up. yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, outside somebody's house. Yeah. The Halloween. You could, even, <laughs> hey, look, you could even see the nail and the pivot right there. Right, you sure can. <laughs> who, who, who was Salik? Salik was Noah's friend when they crash landed, and he, oh, he went right. off in the woods looking for something, never came back. And yeah, yeah, he's been, he's been pining for his friend Salik, and he's like, man, that just left me, you know. He he, he yeah. ran out on me and left me here by myself. Yeah, like, she said, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, but look at this. Man. <laughs> when I look up something, never came you back. Can see, you can see the nail in the in the joint right <laughs> <Yeah>. there. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Halloween stuff prop they got over here. Just put just put that jacket on. <laughs> He's all clean. <laughs> so here's the here are the worst things about the movie because I think they have a decent kids movie here. If it was thirty minutes long. And some other things like the acting and everything. I can even kind of forgive with because they killed the, the worst actors early on. True, uh, but man, the okay. So one of the worst things about this are the special effects. They just don't have. They just don't have the budget for it. Yeah, their 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 reach far exceeds their grasp because every effect. <laughs> that's why I was like reading like seriously, they won Emmys for this these special effects because. I'm used to bad special effects. I yeah. grew up with them, and I'm like, hey, I can I can overlook that and go with the story. <laughs> but these effects are distractingly bad. No, they're horrible wow. effects. I mean, even back then, again, Star Wars, they, they just must have gave it just because it's Star Wars. Hey, they're the special effects guys. I don't feel like voting for all this shit anyway. Just Yeah, Star Wars put my check mm -hmm. down for that. But, okay, so to be fair, now some of the effects are just dated. It's just they, they, they were okay at the time, uh, like the stop motion. The stop motion is just dated. If the, back at the time, they had this thing called go motion, where they put blur to it. So keep in mind, it looks bad today because we got CG. Back right. then, this was cutting edge. So it probably won for that right there. Uh, the, I, can, the, I can still look back at some Ray Harryhausen movies, like Jason and Argonauts, and just go with it. Yeah, but but I these mean, are just... These, I mean, these really aren't that much different, except when they try to animate humans because the humans, the animals are okay. Because you know, we know those animals don't exist. But when they animate anything humanoid, it just it, that shit looks weird. Yeah, look at my Gumby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, that, that was some that was some uh, David and Goliath shit there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David and Goliath. Yeah. So, but I could see at the time when they you add a blur to it, people had never seen that before. Mm -hmm. So they were just kind of like, "Oh my God, it looks like real life." Yeah. Um, and uh, they, I tell you, they, and the other thing is they, they just ran out of money for creatures, so they just turned this into a whole other genre. They ran out of they, they ran out of money. Are they are they just are they just had a TV budget? So they so you know how Star Wars today now humans you're gonna see, but they got animals like you know. Farm animals, barnyard animals, pets, anything. You ain't seen no dogs and no cats in Star mm -hmm. Wars, anything like that. Oh. Here they said, F it. "We ain't got no money. We put <laughs> earth, we put earth creatures in this, man." Uh, so you have uh, the chick right here, the witch, who is uh, played by uh, the Chris. The, the name Sheral. Her name is the actress's name is Sion Phillips. Over here, she looking like a He-Man action figure, or yep, she part does. of a part of an eighties. Metal band or something, right. but, no, but she looks like Evil Lynn. Yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Uh, she's a 
she's actually a, kind of a legendary actress. She was married to Peter O'Toole at one time. Yes, I'm saying so, that she was somebody famous. But yeah, she looks just like she looks just like a a, a He Man action figure. And the thing is, she does what a an action figure would do, like a He Man action figure would do. She turns into a bird, mm-hmm. turns into a crow. <laughs> You know, now today that would have been some little pterodactyl or something, some weird creature. They, they didn't have no money for that. No, exactly. No. That's like at the point they show us a medieval castle, everything turns medieval. Yeah. Everything turns medieval. Oh wow, man! Oh, and by the way, to show you, they, they, they must have been influenced by He Man. Somebody was a fan because they made her look like an action figure, and somebody even says He Man's greatest phrase and this ain't a coincidence because this shit was made when He-Man was at the height of his popularity for kids like me. I am the power. He's like, bitch, you stealing from He-Man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some, I, I got your power. I know what that is. Don't you, don't you weapons still from <laughs> yeah. He-Man? <laughs> oh, word for word, huh? Yeah, <laughs> You goddamn. <laughs> He's like, you mother... Respect Eternia. Yeah. yeah, you thieving motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I am the power. Yeah, bitch, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he gets there. Yeah. Like, I can't believe I know yeah. you did. Why don't you, ever, don't you ever disrespect He Man like that again? <laughs> what about sticker? Bitch, I'm a fan. <laughs> Sindel, she, uh, she didn't let that witch pull some bullshit either, man. She, <laughs> Cause, cause Sindel, the, the the witch in this was just a medieval witch. Why in Star Wars? I don't know. Later they tried to retcon that shit and say, oh, she's a Sith Lord. No, oh, f- I, yeah. no, no nobody want to hear that. Know, no, nobody want to hear that, man. Yeah, but, so she's part of the Night Sisters or something. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Get the f- here, man. I read that a long time ago, and I was like, no, hell no. <laughs> That's bullshit. Um, she's not a Sith Lord. No, but she's been messing with this girl through the whole movie, man. What up, man? There's no escape for you, my little one. She's like, all right, cool. Yeah, I got some. I'm gonna remember that shit. You can <laughs> it might not be today. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna remember that shit. And I tell you, I, and I tell you what, <laughs> that day came. Hey, oh, yeah, okay. No, not her. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no escape for you either, bitch. <laughs> Go down a vent, too. Man, I don't know if she throw the keys away. Yeah, she threw it away. Never yeah. to be seen again. Yep, yep, she's down out, the drain. She's on, you let that bitch go. <laughs> and you see how fast she's booking it over there, too? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She was she's not going to go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> she, she turned around quick. Hey, 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 what you doing? Hey, hey. You <laughs> <laughs> let that bitch go. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she remembered what she said uh, to her earlier. Yeah. There's no escape for you, my little girl. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, right. yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so right yeah. there to bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, great, rather. No escape for me, huh? <laughs> hey, bitch, hey! <laughs> no, Get that no. mother... <laughs> she looked at her like, I know you <laughs> did, bitch. I know, but it was, was like, just... well, we needed those to free some of the other people, too. <laughs> no, 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 hell no. I had to make a point. <laughs> we'll, find, we'll find another way, but her ass stays. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at her like, she was like, oh, you really gonna do me like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, I was so playing earlier, right? No escape playing. for you, little one. She's like, I was just playing. You got to yeah. you. <laughs> the movie turned so cheap, they can't afford to do sci-fi no more. They said... Hey man, let's just do let's just do uh, uh, let's let's just do fantasy. Yeah. Not sci-fi fantasy. We're talking about medieval fantasy. Medieval fantasy. Like again, it's, it turned into cosplay. Yeah, it, it turned into a Renaissance fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I ain't man. The coolest thing about Star Wars, or one of the coolest things, is watching everybody ride creatures that are not from Earth. This movie is the first time I've seen a horse. Oh, my God. First, time seen, first time I've seen a horse in the Star Wars. <laughs> Boy, there's a, there's a big ass white horse in the Star Wars horse. universe. Look at that. <laughs> Got a unicorn in him. <laughs> yeah, I guess a unicorn. Yeah. And, and, and they say, well, shit, let's just go all the way. They, since we got a horse that looks like a unicorn, minus the horn, because we can't afford that, let's just Jesus. go ahead and let's just go ahead and, and put a a a, 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 Disney, a, a Disney fairy fairy a Disney fairy tale princess up in this bitch. Hello, I've been waiting for you. She's like, she's like, she's like, I'm not buying this. She's like, what? The 
I thought this was Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like that'll make a wrong turn yeah, back yeah. there somewhere. I'm, I'm off the set, yeah. aren't I? Yeah. Shit, it, but I'm in Robin Hood now. What the fuck is this? She's even looking, she's even looking at her like, I, I, no, no, you better be waiting yeah. on me. I don't know who you are. You have not been waiting on me. You don't belong here. Yeah. Uh, and what the f yeah, the horse doing here? Is I, I mean, what is that? Yeah. So. The, I was talking about how bad the Ewoks are. I already knew that, man. You know, I don't know what. I'm sorry. They're terrible. They're terrible. But these, but these masks in this movie, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that, that's, what, that's why I didn't even notice how bad the Ewoks were. Because I was looking at these other guys, and I think about the Planet of the Apes movies where people would complain, well, the lips aren't really articulated. Maybe right. on, on two or three of them. Here. Not a one. Not one. <laughs> it, not, not, not even an attempt. Man. When the villains came on, you look at it like, were the actors required to make their own mask? <laughs> paper mache. Like, had a paper mache or whatever. Buy them or whatever. Because they look, because they look, what you, Martin said, they don't, they don't move. They don't. So they look like cheap Halloween mm -hmm. masks that you buy at a you know, grocery store. Like it's, man. If at some point they had taken them off, they were like, all right, now I get it. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. They had just been armored, mm -hmm. our, our masks to intimidate the yeah. enemies. Oh. Boy, he's oh, man, little, little man Ray, he's proud of his mask. <laughs> yeah. He's like, shit, my mama made my mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, went, he ran right in front of the camera. <laughs> sure did. Yeah, whatever, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but my mask is awesome. <laughs> shit, y'all made y'all's mask. My mama bought mine. <laughs> You know, like Martin said, Planet of the Apes. You know, you got characters in the background that don't move. The, the masks are cheaper. Maybe that was the case here. But the main villain, Tariq, they put the camera right up on his face <laughs> so you can see just how shitty that mask is. How dare you suggest that I am to blame? Oh, oh she's like, oh, she's like, oh <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh. Put me back in the cell. Yeah. I thought it would look better than this. I don't know who told you that shit looked good, but yeah, 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 yeah. She, she turned black on him. And the movie goes on way too long, man. It they're, like does. They're, a TV, they're a TV movie, so they have nothing to do with it. So they, <laughs> man, they got this chase scene that goes on. And all, even my wife, she got mad. She got <laughs> mad at she me. Did. She said, I'm tired of hearing these motherfuckers in the wood. Yeah. The wood's growling. Because that's all they do. They just... There's a, they they have this whole padded out chase scene where they just these it's just a bunch of bad masks running through the woods yelling and growling. And you think I'm playing? That's just a taste. It gets so bad that even the actors get tired of it. They're like, all right, man, where we going? Now, I, I'm going to tell you, that, this a dude with a mask on, he don't know where he's going. He can't no, he see. see. He, he got see. tangled up in the tree. He trees. got tangled up in the tree, and these actors start getting mad because they can't see where they're going at these masks. Fuck, Fuck it. it. <laughs> <laughs> move, bitch, move. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever the that is, get that out of my way. <laughs> he, he thought that was a person. Move, yeah. bitch. <laughs> you in my shot. It was supposed to be, that shit was supposed to be majestic, him coming through with that, that flag. He said, <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> the worst. I mean, I tell you the worst part, and this goes. This 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 is just not for this. This extends beyond this show here. The like the worst part of about these Ewoks is how they keep winning these battles. I know because it, it's, it's, it's some silly ass combat that they got going on. You know, he took down a whole technologically advanced empire with rocks and sticks. So I guess, so I guess these dumbasses here, they yeah, yeah, we saw them do it and return the Jedi. So they already set up a precedent yeah, for it. Yeah, so these and, dudes ain't shit. And these guys are idiots. Yeah, so they ain't shit. But it just, it just looks ridiculous because now they just, now they're defeating them with with pure slapstick. You got, oh. that dude got stabbed by a needle. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that, that, that arrow might as well have had a stopper on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, is that the way they switch panned over, the dude already had it in him. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, was, that was a lot. The throwing spears. And just, oh. Yeah, he stabbed his ass with a thimble yeah. uh, or a needle. <laughs> <laughs> one of those little suction cups on his shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His ass went down like that was a big ass African spear. Or yeah. <laughs> oh God, it hurts so oh, bad. Right between the ribs. They ain't even in. They barely went inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up my friend. Oh. 
general who that the villains, even even the villains as 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 dumb as they are, they sh this is so ridiculous. They should be able to, to see this shit coming or run around it or dodge it. That would nice and vicious. Shit. Shit! Donkey God Kong. damn it! <laughs> yeah! Rolling, blah, blah, blah. Rolling, rolling these big ass cheese logs out. <laughs> and it gets so silly that they start fighting like Bugs Bunny, man. They give uh, they give one creature the hot foot. There you go. Whoa. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hot foot. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood you when I was a kid. How do you not know somebody got a match under your foot? <laughs> well, yeah, that was always a thing in, in cartoons and on even on shows, giving somebody yeah. a hot foot. But I'm like, you set somebody's shoe on fire. Right. That, that, that's serious. Right. Yeah, that ain't no, ah, I got you with that one. <laughs> Motherfucker, I was in the hospital. Yeah, even they even I'm got suing a, you. Yeah, I, like, at least in those movies and cartoons or whatever, they're wearing shoes, they're wearing pants or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, Wicked. With his big ass, he sit, he actually sits on something hot, and I don't know how he must got calluses on his ass or something because he can't. He didn't. It took him like a, a thirty seconds to feel it. No. Stuff animal that flipped yeah. over. Stuff animal that flipped over. Yeah. But also, they always smell them. something burning before they feel it. Yeah. yeah. No, man, it's burning your ass. <laughs> yeah. Smell nothing. Mm, just for it. <laughs> oh, let me see here. She's just looking at him when he does it. Too. She's like, "Oh, well, yeah, you all right." Watch where you sit. The, 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 so the most ridiculous part about it is that they, even if these dudes are dumb, there's a whole army of them. They must be stupid because they got defeated. The Ewoks ain't nothing but about fifteen of them. You can count them right there. That's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> Seven of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the seven dwarves down there, man. <laughs> like that I mean, I mean, if whatever it is, it's like it's not a, it ain't a whole uh, Ewok army. It's like I think there's less than thirty of them out there, living in the woods. And the thing is, man, the E, because I'm looking at this, the Ewoks. They were, they were, they, you know, I don't know how they're beating them because they were easily in the beginning. They were so easily getting, easy to yeah to capture they and, were, and enslave. Yes, they were easily getting their ass kicked. They were doing shit. And I don't even think they knew what they were doing. They had one Ewok swing by, and one of them dudes called like, "Where the f you going?" Like, look, watch this. Look. Okay. What the hell are you doing? What were you, what were you doing? Yeah. It's like, huh? It, this all worked in the last movie. <laughs> what did what what did that? What were you hoping to accomplish? They do, I'll take that. <laughs> man, they do. I, they they do a lot of combat here that I don't know what it means. They had, they tossing each other. I don't. I don't. Oh, they tossing. Yeah, they, they put themselves in catapults and just uh, catapults and just shoot themselves off. That? But did they do the Return of the Jedi? Yeah, but they use rocks. But oh. here they just shoot. Oh. They they, <laughs> shoot each other. they shooting themselves. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can tell he ain't going nowhere. He ain't but going no, nowhere. No, yeah, no. I was like exactly. I was like. I was like, what, what were you trying to hit? <laughs> Nothing. Now they just doing jackass. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. We got time, right? Yeah, they just, now they just <laughs> around. They're like, yeah. you know what? We win it anyway. Narrow, narrow, narrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, we win it anyway. Let's just <laughs> around for a little while. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a different thing. Legs are all long and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> They, they're little dummies, man. Of stuffed animals. Teak gets thrown around. What? They, I love this because they try to they try to fool somebody. Bitch, we know what you're doing. Uh, they throw a stuffed animal in the bushes. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and then the character rolls out at the bottom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. No, 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 the villain here, I don't, I, the villain dies, but I don't, do you understand how he died? I, oh, uh, 
No. <laughs> I, I, I know it happened. I know it happened, but I was like, I don't get it. Because that, that whole thing, like, there was no setup for that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. He, Whitney, I mean, I was going to say Wilford Brimley kicked his ass, but he didn't. He beat William. He knocked his, he knocked William. Uh, <laughs> Wilford Brimley. Wilford Brimley knocked his dick in the dirt. Man, uh, I don't dude, understand dude, this. So dude. apparently the dude, now, unless I'm saying something wrong, the dude, I don't know why he was he was wearing a, 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 a like a suicide button or a self destruct button, <laughs> and and Wicked takes the ring that the witch uses to turn to a crow, and he I don't know how he knew what to do, but he threw it on that on that button, and fried this dude. Oh, oh God! It's Shit, working. Oh, that's, got me. <laughs> oh, that's your ass now. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Right. But she's free. Yeah, I guess so. And I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man, with that. Uh, I tell you, uh, before he went out, though, shit, that, 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 it was like Popeye with spinach. That oatmeal kicked in. <laughs> that, that oatmeal oh. finally kicked in, man. Da -da 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 -da. He went out there. Man, he thought he was going to do something. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, the bad, that's a badass villain. And so, and then he had, all he had was a stick. <laughs> so he said, shit, I'm going to use it. And he said, hey, look, we dead anyway, either way. So. I love the way they add metal sounds, that tinfoil sword. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's bending <Man>. everywhere. <laughs> Fold the little foot. Oh, yeah, you would, yeah, you can see it. You can, it's cardboard, y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's really shit, that, flimsy all over. Yeah, that's, what, yeah that's, that's the kind of sword they make for elementary school plays for little kids who watch this because everybody loves Star Wars. It's, 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 it's. It's passable, man, for little kids. It, it reminded me of something from back during that time that would be on video, and if somebody was babysitting, yeah. they would throw it on along with a lot of other movies like like Baby, you know, yeah, about yeah. the dinosaur and all kind of other stuff. That kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. That's, that's kind of what happened with us. We, we, this is one of our 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 many tapes where we were at our grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. Put put one yeah. on that, the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. y'all 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 like Star Wars, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we love Star Wars. Well, here you go. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, I I mean there are things that I like here. Like I said, whenever you go to uh, Wilfred Brimley as Noah and the little girl, uh, I I like that stuff. I even start to like Wicked Man as shitty as he looks. Um, and it's got a sweet ending, man. I mean, the stuff works with the, with their story. No. Brave and fine little woman. Bye. Stay the out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, actually, Noah's about to leave the planet. He's about to leave. So they got that thing where, you know, it's a sad goodbye for everybody. Noah has to leave, uh, he has to leave Wicked. I thought it was kind of sad that he left Teak. I don't know Teak all that well, but he had been Teak's boy since he was there. And Teak was living with him. So I thought, ah, oh, it's kind of sad he's got to say goodbye to him. All the rest of you, too. I know. All the rest of you. can kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know you. All, all the rest of you some bitches. Was... You know, Wilfred Brimley is actually really good in this. Yeah, he's not he's bad. a good yeah. actor. I mean, no, he's, yeah. but he's yeah. a good actor, so he's yeah, going to be good yeah. in everything. You know, he's, he... Felt so natural in this man. He I brought actually, it. Yeah, I actually really love watching him in this. He, he was cracking me up, and I just thought he was. I thought he just plays that role very well. And uh, you know, and it's of course, girl girl. well, she has. Yeah, she has to leave too. She's leaving in, so she's got to say goodbye to Wicked. I was like, oh, that little girl's good, yeah, man. Yeah, she's really good. I, I actually thought the ending that was really cool. One of those ET goodbyes, man. Uh, so it's a sweet end. I mean, it's, it's, a, sweet, it's a sweet movie for kids, man. Little, 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 little kids. kids, little kids. So he between drops. the yeah, you see a thud, smash it by the. Bam. Uh, so between like the stop motion stuff they did at the time and the go motion and the spaceships, that's probably what it got an award for. Uh, as far as special effects, because that was pretty advanced for television at the time. Not for costumes? I mean, <laughs> 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 
one of them costumes. I, the moment they came on the screen, I was like, I know, I know. Holy it, yeah, shit. yeah. Right off the bat, you're like, oh, this is this kind of party, huh? <laughs> yeah. And guess what? <laughs> we locked the door. <laughs> we did both the door. Because some of it looks like Land of the Lost. Yeah. And yeah. some of it looks like Rudolph the Red Nosed Ring. <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. Uh, there you go. The Battle for Endor. 